Hi everyone! Welcome to Stampin' Up! with Jamie. <laughs> Things might look a little uh, sort of different today. I am over at my parents' house. I'm in my mom's um, uh, quilting room and <laughs> of all things because we are having major renovations um, over in my house and so uh, it just wasn't gonna happen at my house. So things are gonna look a little different today. I forgot a couple of things. So I ask that you just be patient with me and bear with me. I've kind of taken over her room here and spread out, but I get to show you lots of new goodies from the 2021-2022 Stampin' Up! Annual Catalog. This is a brand new catalog that will be coming out. I will get these out to customers ASAP. They are supposed to come in Thursday. Um, and it will go live uh, May 4th to all customers. And as a demonstrator, I was able to not just see it, but also pre-order from it. Uh, sounds like things at your house. <laughs> yeah, it's just uh, a little crazy right now at my house. We are putting in a second bathroom, so there's stuff everywhere. My craft room has wiring and and piping and everything all around it. So it's kind of crazy. Um, but I did bring everything for the most part with me, but you are gonna laugh. I forgot my annual catalog. I was gonna show you the cover and it's really beautiful. And I walked out without it. So walking out without it, I also don't have necessarily all the sweet names and stuff like that. So I do apologize. Um, I think, think you're gonna enjoy the things that I have to show you. Hi, Shannon. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks, everyone, for coming. I am super excited. I did want to let you know that I do have um, my product share up and announced over on my blog, or you can head to jamieb.com. That's Jamie with two I's, so J-A-I-M-I-E-B.com, and you will find all the information to my product share. Um, the product share gets you a six by six um, if you buy the single, Thank you, Karen. I appreciate it. <laughs> and thanks, Joanna. Um, six by six of all the new designer series paper. Um, I label everything with the product name and the product number along with coordinating colors to make it real easy for you to know which is which and for you to then order more of whatever you'd like. So this is the designer series paper. I'm also offering a ribbon and embellishments. Um, so these are the bumblebee trinkets. They're super cute. I'm gonna show you those in a second. <clears throat> Really adorable. So all the information and details are out on my blog. A product share is just a great way to get lots of new product into your hands without having to necessarily buy one of everything. Um, so let me know if you have any questions and I would be happy to help. Um, I am going to flip the camera around. Again, I just asked for your patience. I walked up without my grid paper, so I just have a plain <laughs> table to, to sort of uh, craft on. Um, I forgot the grid paper the last time I did this live too, so um, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> it's a little rough today with my in my mom's uh, crafting room here in her uh, quilting room. So, hey, Christina, thanks for joining. Okay, if you tend to get a little uh, seasick or dizzy easily, just look away for a moment. I'm gonna cover the camera here with my finger, flip the camera around so that you're looking down, and um, I don't want you to get sick. So. Give me a second here. I'm gonna flip things around. Hopefully <laughs> this works. Oh my, I'm always waiting for one of these times I'm gonna flip it around and it's just totally not gonna work and everything's gonna go flying. Give me a second. Did that work? It did work. Okay, so you can look back. I'm gonna try and follow along with comments. I don't have my computer next to me, unfortunately, so um, I'm gonna do my best. If I miss something, I'll try and go back afterwards and answer any questions. So here's another look at my product share, um, how I label things. I put a lot of time and love into labeling because I wanna make it as easy for you and um, everything comes in a resealable uh, cellophane bag. So it's really easy for you to take the product back out and then store it again. So all the information are on my blog. So I thought we would first start off with in colors. I have everything here. I'm hopefully gonna um, do everything sort of justice. I'm gonna show you the five new in colors and then I'm gonna do a color comparison stamping and with cardstock, okay? So first up we have the new, oh, hold on. Should I turn out lights on? No, I'm gonna turn them off. Is it too dark without out lights? I kinda like just the natural light. 
Um, okay, so evergreen, or excuse me, evening evergreen is the first one that I'm showing you. It's a nice, rich green, really deep. I love it. By the way, I love all of them. I'm probably going to say it five times over. Next up, we have soft succulent, a really soft, almost like a darker, ver deeper version of mint macaron, kind of. Uh, next, we have fresh freesia, which is really pretty. I love this. Um with our Highland Heather. I'm gonna show you that in a second. Okay, good, thanks, Karen. I'm so used to always eating my Ot lights, but my mom has, the room I'm in has beautiful natural lighting, so I'm like, let's just go with the natural lighting. Next, we have a polished pink, uh, really nice, like true pink, true pink. I like that a lot. And then last but not least, we have the pale papaya, which is like sort of a cross between like a yellow orangey but on the pale side and what I really like about these five colors is that they fill a color need like there's really nothing like these in our current color collections and so I feel like they really are going to be a great uh, asset and tool for us in our business which I'm really excited about um so that is the ink um oh hold on <laughs> everything is really spread out so you're gonna have to just be patient with me here I have to kind of walk around and grab everything as I as I get it okay so let me show you some of the cardstock let me sort of push that aside okay so and I am gonna stamp with these in just a second but I figured I'd show you more this is the pale papaya cardstock really nice sort of melon color peachy color yeah exactly Karen peachy if I'm comparing um, cardstock colors with it, okay, this is our pale papaya. This here is so saffron, which is definitely yellower. Yellower? <laughs> when I put these two next to each other, this one definitely looks peachy. And then I also brought out a mango melody just to kind of see what those would look like. And uh, it's just really pretty. And I really like this color. I've seen it in some of the new designer series paper and in some of the samples that Stamp It Up has made with it. And it's just really pretty. So Pale Papaya. That's our cardstock comparison. Uh, let's see here. Hold on. Okay, let's do Polished Pink. Yes, it is very much like a cantaloupe. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it, Jillian. Yeah, it is kind of like a cantaloupe, like a pale cantaloupe. Oh, that's a tongue twister. <laughs> okay, this is polished pink, a really bright. So here, let me show you. This is um, Melon Mambo, okay, which I like to use. It's a very nice bright, but this isn't quite as bright, and I really like it because of that. It's just a little bit more muted, um, just a nice bright pink. If I were to compare it to the Florida Flamingo, it's so funny because I wouldn't really consider, I would consider Florida Flamingo, like a true pink, but up next to the polished pink, it looks not so um, pinky. Oh, maybe, Christina. I don't, that was before I started, so maybe, maybe. So there's our polished pink. Uh, let's see here. Let's do soft succulent. I love this color so much. So, so much. Love this color. <laughs> okay, so so soft succulent. I have to get used to the names. And I'm gonna compare that to, let me just get it out, sorry. This is mint macaron. Look at those colors together. Aren't those so pretty together? I love them. And then our Just Jade. You know me, I love a sort of monochromatic colors together and I really like these three. Really, really. So this is our soft succulent. Mint Macaron and Just Jade. Really pretty. It almost has a hint of blue, like a little, like these set definitely have more green in them, I think, but almost like a hint of blue in there. Okay, next I have Fresh Freesia. So pretty. And I have, oh, did I not bring it? Oh boy, I thought I had it. Hold on. Oh, it fell out in my bag. Okay. So Fresh Freesia, just a really, really pretty purple compared to our Highland Heather, which is funny because Highland Heather is such a, I would consider almost like a pastel, but the Fresh Freesia next to it, it looks darker. And although it is retiring, I thought I would compare it to the Purple Posy just because it's kind of in the same uh, 
color family-ish. So somewhere kind of in between these two, the Fresh Freesia. Really pretty. This is all I have left of my Purple Posy, would you believe it? I'm almost out. So really pretty. I love these colors. I think they hit it out of the park with the colors, among other things. <laughs> Evening Evergreen, really rich, just a really rich green. And this was a hard one to pull out colors to kind of coordinate because it really, there's nothing really like it. We have um, Shaded Spruce, which I thought would be kind of the closest, but when you put them next to each other, they're nothing alike. If I were to compare it to a Mossy Meadow, again, here, let me do it this way. Nothing alike, nothing alike. So it really has, there is like a void, I would say. You're welcome, Rachel. I like to do the color comparisons because honestly, I look at this and I go, oh, we have a similar color to that. Shaded Spruce is kind of similar. But then I put Shaded Spruce up to it. I'm like, that's nothing like it. <laughs> so um, Evening Evergreen, Shaded Spruce. I threw a Mossy Meadow in here, um, but they're really not anything alike, like at all, remotely, <laughs> at all. Um, before I stamp, let me just show you the other uh, in-color products we have. We have these beautiful, I'm so excited about these, um, 2123 in-color jewels. They come, it looks like two sizes. I haven't opened these yet. It's almost blackish instead of a green. Ye um, I can see how you would say that. Yes. It's not in person though, but yes, it is. It, it, yeah. I can see why you would say that, but it is like a dark, like a rich green. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it, <laughs> but yeah, I can see it's definitely on the darker side. So look at these jewels, these, what are they called? Yeah. Jewels. Gorgeous. Look how they sparkle. Nice little sparkle in the five in colors, two sizes. Look, it's small, larger and smaller. These are included in my product share. Um, I can't tell you off the top of my head how much you would get. You'd have to look up those details. I don't have it in front of me. Okay, so pretty. Again, in the five colors, everything coordinates. That's what I love about Stampin' Up! Color coordination. Hello, love it. Okay, then we have um, new ribbon in the five colors. This here is the polished pink. I have to get used to the names. Almost like a satin on the outside with this sort of sheer going down the middle. Really, really pretty. Really feminine, soft, and they come in the five colors. So there's the um, Evening Evergreen. And I only opened this one, but the polish, nope, what is it? Pale Papaya, oh my goodness, I'm so not used to the words yet. Soft Succulent, is that all of them? No, and Fresh Freesia. Oh, I love that purple. This purple is going to be really pretty um, for Easter cards, Mother's Day cards, and then that's what it looks like. They all look like that, but I only opened up the one package. Again, the polished pink. So the five in colors come with the five ribbons, sold separately, of course, so you can get the colors that you want. Um, yeah, I agree, Lindsay. This is, you have to, I'm not a huge yellow person, as everyone knows, right? I'm not a huge yellow person, but I feel like this is going to be really pretty with florals and it's a nice complementary color. So, I agree. I like the papaya. I'm sold. Okay, so should we do some stamping? Let's do some stamping. Okay, so I have a just basic white. I'm going to sort of do our color comparison. Um, I'm going to show this in a second, but just so you know the stamp I'm going to use. I'm going to use this one here. I haven't used it yet. Hopefully this works. <laughs> I packed up everything and I brought it to my parents and I didn't really test, so hopefully it'll work. That's the one I'm gonna stamp in. And um, I just realized, I don't know, hold on, give me a second. Uh, oh, my goodness. I'm like, I don't know where my colors went because I put, I, <laughs> oh my goodness. I picked them all up. Oh my word. This what happens when I'm a little bit out of my element. It's like, <laughs> I, I, I'm out of uh, the routine. So this is Evening Evergreen, okay? I'm gonna stamp my flower. Ooh, hold on, come on. There we go. I apologize if I'm moving the, I'm sure I'm moving the camera. And I don't know, um, I don't think there's too many grooves in this table, so I should get a clean stamp. 
but you never know. Okay, so keep in mind when you stamp an image, it does always stamp darker and it will lighten as it dries. So that's e e <laughs> I'm tied. Evening Evergreen, right? Yes, Evening Evergreen. Holy cow, that is such a tongue twister for me. The double E's. Okay, to the right of it, I'm gonna stamp Shaded Spruce, which is, I love this green so, so, so much. So, so much. Oh my gosh, I can just see the brightness of it already compared to the evergreen. Okay, so to Joanna's point, stamping that, it does almost look a little black, but I'm sure if I were, I should have brought my black ink, I didn't, but if I had stamped my black, I think you would see that a little bit more on the green side. Okay, just give me a second, I gotta clean my stamp after each time here. And then to the left of, the, left of it, I'm gonna do Mossy Meadow. And we'll see how this one kind of compares. This is definitely more like olive -y. Wow, nothing like it at all. I thought these would be like the three most similar greens, but not at all. There's our new um, evening evergreen in the middle. And once I show you some of the new products that we have, um, I think the evergreen is gonna come in very, very handy with some of the new, um, we have a lot of nature scenes, um, woods and trees and that sort of thing. So, oh here, this is also what I wanted to do before I go on. I also have the new Stampin' Blends. <gasps> we got new Stampin' Blends, all five of the colors. Okay, these are alcohol-based markers. They're great for coloring. Um, really, really user friendly. Two ends, a brush end and a more pointed end. So this is the light evergreen. Okay. And then the dark evergreen. Ooh, that is such a pretty color. I love that so, so much. It's looking, I feel like looking on my camera here, it looks darker, but in person it does look lighter, especially the light one does look, it almost has like a grayish hue to it, I wanna say. So pretty. Okay, let me set that aside. Okay, now we'll do um, soft succulent. I couldn't pick a favorite. At first I thought maybe this will be my, my favorite new ink color. But then I look at all the other ones and I'm like, but I really like that one and I really like this one and I really like that one. <laughs> I don't think I can pick. So soft, succulent. There's a new suite in the annual catalog that's all hanging potted plants. And this color is gonna be really beautiful with that suite in particular. I should just leave my chamois out. I keep putting it away. And I'm gonna compare that with, let's do Just Jade to the right of it. Oops, stamp's upside down. Just Jade to the right. I'm sorry, I know I'm moving the camera every time I ink up my stamp. Oh, my Just Jade is very inky. <laughs> That's why it's stamped that way. And this is one of our distinctive stamps. So I'm not doing it this way today, but um, a hint for whenever you have a, one of our distinctive images is to apply the ink using a dauber. So usually with our distinctive, less ink is better. But for the sake of time today, I'm not doing that. This here is our mint macaron. Ooh, I love those colors together, so pretty. Okay, so Soft Succulent, Just Jade, and Mint Macaron. And let's see what the blends. So again, light and dark. Let's do light first. Ooh, what a pretty color. I really like that. And then the dark. Oh my goodness, yes. I don't wanna commit, but I think this might be my favorite color. <laughs> There's our two blends, okay? Let me clean my ink before I accidentally <laughs> put it in the purple or something. Okay, next up, so 
I would normally want to compare the Fresh Freesia to Purple Posy, but we don't have that ink pad. So I'm just going to compare the Fresh Freesia to Highland Heather because there's really no other, I mean, I guess I could have brought Gorgeous Grape, but it's definitely much, much lighter than Gorgeous Grape. So this here is our Fresh Freesia. Oh, so, it's almost like a pinky purple. Pinky purple. So pretty. Oh, but see, now I see that, and I think maybe that's my favorite in color. <laughs> I guess I can't make up my mind. I'm going to compare it to Highland Heather. This is the Highland Heather, which is definitely more a purple purple. So pretty, though. Okay, that's, I can't get them. There we go. Sort of back to back. And then the blends. We have the light blends. Yeah, it's definitely more like a pinky purple. So pretty. They're all your favorite. <laughs> that's funny. I know, I keep saying that. I'm like, that's my favorite. No, that's my favorite. And there's the Stampin' Blends. Really pretty. Oh, I love them so much. Okay, let's get another one. Next up, we'll do the pale papaya. We'll do the pale papaya in the middle. Don't forget when you um with our new ink pads, you can put the little color strip in the inside too. Don't forget when you're doing it. Do yeah, that one. Okay, pale papaya, nice bright orangey yellow. You know how I feel about yellow, but I think there is definitely a place for this color. I can't say this will necessarily be my favorite, but I feel like it'll be great for florals and like softer cards. This is so saffron. And then next we'll do the Mango Melody. I threw the Mango Melody in because it's kind of like a more orangey than yellow, but kind of along similar lines. We'll see how this one, I think it needs to be refilled, but I think it'll work. Okay. Yeah, this one is definitely, I don't know how to describe it. This is definitely more your pale. Pale papaya, there you go. So saffron and the mango melody. Hello, Susan from sunny Florida. We are sunny Albany, New York today, but not very warm. <laughs> you don't see yellow in the papaya? Well, I don't think it's too yellow either, but I think it's not necessarily like a bright orange either. Really? Read. Oh my gosh, I'm totally, I think it's like an orange yellow, no? You don't think that's like an, who said it? Um, Karen, I think, called it the peach. And I think that's a good sort of descriptive of it. Here's the light Stampin' Blends. And then we have the dark Stampin' Blends. Peach is, I think peach is like the perfect descriptive word for it. It's very much a peach. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Okay, last but certainly not least. Let me just clean. I'm not sure if I cleaned my stamp yet. Oh boy. <laughs> That's all I need to just go um, cross uh, using the colors. Ooh, that one opened super. That one's like super loose. Some of mine, when you first open them, are super tight, but that one was like slid right out. Peach it is. Maybe they should have done papaya. Maybe they should have done pale peach. <laughs> it would have worked. Here's our polished pink. Again, Nice, bright, vibrant pink. And, gosh, um, Flirty Flamingo, what I'm going to compare it to, isn't necessarily, I mean, they don't look anything alike, but they're, I don't know, I always thought Flirty Flamingo was a very bright, pinky pink. So that's why I picked it to compare, but I don't know. When you put them up next to each other, they don't really look anything alike. But to give you an idea, <laughs> Heather sneaking from work. I won't tell anyone, Heather. <laughs> Oh, I just realized I grabbed my Magenta Madness and not Mango Melody. Oh, well, it looks like we're comparing it to Magenta Madness. Perfect peach. Yes. <laughs> that would have been perfect. <laughs> so I probably would have compared it to Mango um, Melon Mambo. Did I say Mango Melody? I'm so sorry. Melon Mambo. But I have Magenta Madness. That's what I pulled. So there's the three of them. 
kind of similar, but not quite as bright. This is definitely more just like a true pink. This is what I would call more of a bright, vibrant pink. Okay, let me put the blends for this. Here we have our, ooh, that's certainly bright. Light polished pink. Yeah, and dark polished pink. Ooh, really pretty. I like how there's a good variation in color so you can really blend those together nicely and get lots of different varieties and combinations of just using those two blends together. It is sort of like a neon, yeah. Yeah, okay, so Polished Pink, Flirty Flamingo, and Magenta Madness. So these are, doo -doo -doo. I only had two for that one. Am I still, yeah, I'm a little off, but there you go, okay? And that one did, you can see as they um, dry that they do lighten, and so that one, I definitely see that as a green. It's a very, very deep green, that evening evergreen. Okay, so moving on, I didn't buy everything that I could have. I just wanna <laughs> preface all this by saying I didn't buy everything. And unfortunately, because I left my catalog at home, I don't even have like names of sweets and stuff. So um, I apologize, um, but we're still gonna dive in. Let me show you some of the embellishments. I agree, Susan, so pretty, I love them. We have the Loose Flower Flourishes, and it comes in three colors. It comes in the Polished Pink, the Fresh Freesia, and the Pale Papaya. And it comes in two sizes, itty bitty, <laughs> and then a little bigger. And they have nice flat backs, so that'll be easy for us to adhere them down on our projects, and you get a ton. These are also included in my product shares as I mentioned earlier on. So head over to my blog or head over to jamieb.com and you'll get all those details. So that is the Loose Flower Flourishes. That is a tongue twister. Uh, next I have the Bumblebee Trinkets. A ton, let's see here, 20 come in the package, but I only have two to show you because I, I did something with them. I can't share, I won't share because it'll spoil a surprise. Um, but that's the Bumblebee Trinkets. They are gold. They have lots of detail. I love that there's this sort of detail in the in the wings and the body. It is a flat back again, so you'll be able to hear it down very easily to your projects. So, so cute. I think this is my favorite embellishment. He's just so adorable. Love it. Um, we have silver and clear epoxy essentials. And you get clear and silver. The clear is a true clear. There's no, <laughs> there's no sparkle to them or anything. They literally are just clear. We have a circle, a diamond, and a teardrop. You have um, the three shapes and you get a ton. And then the same come in silver. These are really pretty. I like to use the metallics, especially for like holiday stamping. So I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of these. Really pretty. Oh, these are my favorite, favorite, favorite. I said that already, but now these are my favorite. <laughs> I can't make up my mind. They're all my favorite. How about that? Genial. I think that's how you pronounce that, right? Genial gems. It's not, yeah, I'm not even going to say what I was going to say and just make a fool of myself. <laughs> they are sugars. What color are those? I don't have my catalog. I'm gonna say, are those pale papaya and soft succulent is what I wanna say. And there is like this sort of shimmer to them. They have like these little specks of like gold and almost like an iridescence in them. Really, really pretty. It, that's right, okay. Karen's got my back. I don't have my catalog. I walked out without it. So uh, we're gonna go pale papaya and soft succulent. Oh, these are gorgeous. Oh, mint macaron, sorry, sorry, sorry. Is this pale papaya? Yes, pale papaya and mint macaron. Thanks, ladies. You got my back. <laughs> um, yeah, I walked out without my catalog, so I can't I can't reference any of it. <laughs> They're all my favorites. Wink wink. <laughs> so these are really pretty. Two sizes, smaller and then larger ones. You're gonna love these. I know you are. Okay, let's move on to some ribbon. I'm kind of doing it backwards. Normally I show like the, the stamps and bundles, but I'm kind of doing it backwards. This here is Highland Heather ribbon, a half an inch wide. 
It's got a nice texture to it. It has almost like a little shimmer to it, right? There's almost like a silver running in it. It's not solid. It's kind of like this little shimmer to it almost. Highland Heather, really, really pretty. I like that it's wide. It'll make nice big chunky bows. Of course, I'm not going to attempt a bow because I only do fork bows, but you know, you get the idea. Highland Heather. Again, all this ribbon will be included in the product share. Oh, this is fun. Smoky Slate. Where is it? Textured ribbon, seven eighths of an inch. Really chunky. And it almost has, can you see like the texture running through it? Smoky Slate. Smoky Slate, really pretty. Um, oh, this I think is going to be a favorite. I keep saying it. I don't know. They're all my favorite. <laughs> They're all my favorite until I see the next one. And then that one becomes my favorite. This is pale papaya in white woven ribbon, uh, half an inch wide. Great, great texture to this. It's almost similar to the ribbon that we had a couple of years ago. That was like poppy parade and granny apple green. And was it smoky slate or gray granite? One of them. Um, it has like this white edge to it. Um, great, great texture. That'll make beautiful bows. Of course, only for bows, but beautiful bows. Then we have Simply Elegant Trim. These are part of sweets and stuff. Again, I don't have my catalog, so at some point you will find out what sweets they all belong to. Um, they come in two colors, gold and silver. Um, if I pull it, there we go, okay. It's, it's nice trim. It's not like a uh, baker's twine. It has sort of like this texture to it. And it's nice and uh, thick. I don't know. I love it. This is going to be fun for holiday um, crafting. And I love to use metallics for holidays especially. Thank you, Karen. Simply Elegant Sweet. This is the only thing I got of that sweet. Would you believe it? That was the one sweet I didn't buy hardly anything of. And the last ribbon I have to show you is the Baker's Twine Essentials Pack. You get, does it tell me? Karen's going to have to have my back on this one. Is that gray granite or smoky? Actually, that might be Sahara sand. And I'm going with basic black. And I'm going to go very vanilla. And I'm thinking white and crumb cake would be my guess. I'm not exactly, I think this one is Sahara sand. And you get... Um, five yards of some of them and 10 yards of others of them. <laughs> so my vagueness. Or if you get my product share, you get a yard of them all. Gray granite. Oh, it is gray granite. Okay, I thought maybe Sahara sand, but no. Gray granite. Where is the starter? I was gonna, well, this one has it. I can see it. So just a nice baker's twine. Just like a thin, not too thick. This will be really nice to wrap your cards around a couple times. Add some nice um, texture to it. I love this stuff. I love this I can make a bow with. These ones I can handle. Other ribbon, not so much. Okay, now let's, I have a couple of like bundle stamps to show you and then we'll call it a wrap. Okay, what do I wanna show you first? Let me show you the hand pen petal, <laughs> hand penned petals. This is a photopolymer stamp set. It is a uh, two step stamping um, if you wish. Really, really, really pretty. Oh, I forgot about the designer series paper. Let me pull that out. See, it was just out of reach, so I almost forgot. Hold on a second. Give me a, give me a second here. Okay. So hand pen, pen hand penned petals. Such a tongue twister. I love a feel better, a friend. We don't. Um, I don't feel like I buy too many stamp sets that have feel better soon. So I like that. Um, really, really pretty, soft, feminine. I, this is just gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. You're going to notice that our new photopolymer stamps don't have the actual images on this part of it. They're now being printed on the cover of our stamp sets. And so what you can do, you can leave it like this if you wanted, or you can take the stamp off and adhere it to your cover, put them all down, and then take one of these films and put it over. That's going to be the new design um, style of the photopolymer stamps from now on. So it will come with a double-sided um, film, but there's nothing printed on the film anymore. The images are printed on the case. So you can leave it like this, or you can take off your photopolymer stamps and 
and put them on the inside of your of your stamp case so that's the stamp set of course it comes with beautiful dies they're the penned flowers dies Go gorgeous <laughs> and i love that stampin up is giving us dies that coordinate yes with the stamp set but then other ones that can just completely stand off like by themselves so like we have these images here that will stand by themselves a beautiful leaf here this gorgeous scalloped edge and then this really intricate beautiful um image down here and then the ones that are just kind of like the negatives will cut out will coordinate with our stamps now this bundle is part of a suite and the coordinating designer series paper oh my goodness it's to die for <laughs> that's all i can say it's the hand penned designer series paper it has a basic black blushing bride cinnamon cider daffodil delight garden green highland heather mint macaron misty moonlight pale papaya pool party and whisper white say that all 10 times fast so I'll just show you a little bit of the images. Of course, they're all two-sided, so I'll flip it over in a second. One side tends to be more graphics, more big images, and then the one tends to be more sort of background. Gorgeous. Oh, thank you, Karen. I told you, I didn't. I knew that everything kind of coordinated together. The genial gems go with the sweet too, Karen's telling me. Oh, how pretty is that? Those colors are gorgeous. So where are those gems? Hold on to my. So these here, they coordinate with the suite. Okay, that's one side. Ready for this other side? Like no gasping aloud because it's so pretty. This sort of like scalloped um, floral, pink floral. Oh, so pretty. Um, I'm assuming that's fresh freesia. I th no, wait, hold on. Nope, that has to be Highland Heather, according to the colors. A sort of polka dot and then a striped. How pretty is that? And of course, they all sort of coordinate with each other. So like you could put these two together. They look really pretty together. Again, this will be included in my designer series paper product share. All the details on my blog. You're going to want those. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to make cards with this product. There's something about new product that is just unbelievably exciting. I mean, I love some of like the stuff that we still have, but new stuff, oh, so exciting. Um, next up, we have the Inspired Thoughts uh, bundle. It does bundle. Although if you didn't want the dies, you at least need the stamp set because it covers just about every occasion that you can think of, including Christmas. Um, there's a Christmas sentiment down here. There's a sympathy one, a straight up hello, which I love for just kind of everyday stamping. It is a red rubber cling stamp um really really sweet sentiments and it coordinates with the inspiring canopy dies which is that right yes which look like this and they have these tree images and then these sort of leaves and some of the samples in the car in the catalog they just have like the bare trees sometimes they have leaves on the trees or they have leaves falling does that go with this one? I'm I'm totally second guessing myself. Karen, is that right? <laughs> totally second guessing myself. I think these go together. Um, and then we have this sort of landscape one. This, I have no idea what that goes to. And I know Karen, when she did her live yesterday, she said the same thing. I don't know, a sun? I have no clue what that goes to. You'll have to get creative and let me know. It does. Okay, thanks, Jillian. I just had this moment of... <gasps> Did I do the wrong one? <laughs> I totally like second guessed myself last minute. I guess I should have some faith in myself. Um, okay, let's do another bundle. This is the color and contour uh, bundle. Really, really, really great. Thanks, Shannon. <laughs> it looks like a moon. Oh, maybe a moon. I don't know. I have to guess, I have to go back into the catalog and look a little closer at the samples to see how Stampin' Up! used it. Um, color and contour, this is two-step stamping with some great sentiments. Think, thank you for everything, here for you now, um, and in better days ahead. Really supportive kind of sentiments. Uh, really pretty images. Again, simple. This, this would make a card pretty quickly. It'll come together. This is a photopolymer stamp set. So again, the new design with the images stamped on the stamp case. And the 
coordinating dies are the scalloped contours dies. And this is amazing. Really, really fun. And it does um, have a dotted edge to it. Look at these rectangles. Great, great, great for layering up with these really fun sort of um, scalloped edging. And then two dies to coordinate with the stamp set. This is a must, must have in my book. Love it so much. Okay, now what do we got? I'm running out of room here. Beauty of Friendship. Beauty of Friendship bundle. This is a bigger, part of a bigger suite. Um, it is a photopolymer stamp set. And great sentiments again. Uh, I love a thank you. Hello, I believe in you, thinking of you. Really, really fun. And you can kind of... I could see this done with uh, green leaves or even really colorful leaves for fall. They use it as a, mo a moon, really, as a moon in the catalog. Huh, thank you, interesting. These are the coordinating dies, beautiful trees dies. Fun, really, really, really fun. We have um, standalone dies that will coordinate with the stamped images. We have these like almost labels that will coordinate with like our sentiments. I always love a good label. And um, and then let me just skip ahead to show you the coordinating designer series paper because what you can do is take like this intricate die here and cut out images from the designer series paper to get really colorful foliage on your trees. So this is part of the, hold on, let me flip it around. Beauty of the Earth designer series paper. And we have this image here, kind of greens, different greens, watercolor greens. This one is two-sided, so the top and the bottom are the same with this kind of uh, really colorful foliage. This, um, different kind of leaves, but you get blues, greens, and oranges. The coordinating colors are Bumblebee, Cajun Craze, Cinnamon Cider, Early Espresso, Mary Merlot, Misty Moonlight, Mossy Meadow, Night of Navy, Old Olive, and White. Um, okay, so there's more greenery. How fun is that for fall and autumn? Beautiful. Love it. And then we have this. This is great as like a sort of a background to a card, or you could kind of cut out each individual image. The opposite side, we have a beautiful wood grain. Love a wood grain. Does the tree cut out the stamped image? Does the tree cut out, which, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where did I do with it? <laughs> I've like spread out. Um, which tree I wonder you're asking about? This one here, Shannon? This one looks like it will coordinate with this one here. This looks like it's a standalone one. It's very interesting they, because they have like this metal going along the branches to make it stand still. Not stand still, um, like make it sturdy, I guess is how I want to say that. This one, this one here coordinates with this. And then this one would coordinate with that. And then this bigger one is a standalone, I think. And then this one down here coordinates with these two top ones. I hope that's what you're asking on the stamp set yeah i think that's your question <laughs> julia i just can't with the papers they're so pretty i know i know it is hard to cut them when they're that pretty but then once you, you just have to cut it once and then it gets easier okay so there's our wood grain we had this sort of like watercolor beautiful evergreen sort of landscape here um, a sky, I'm going to call that a sky, sort of clouds, really beautiful blues. You're welcome. This is great for winter. It almost looks like it's like freshly falling snow along a forest. This one will be great to use that really detailed, this one here, this detailed die to cut out this image and get really beautiful, colorful leaves. And then we have just like a 12 by 12 watercolor green whatever <laughs> that's what you get the you get the idea <laughs> okay what's up next let's do um two standalone dies and then we'll wrap it up with the last bundle okay 
Here we have the Taylor Made Tags dies. I was so, 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 so excited to see these and even more excited to see them in the pre-order. They make tags and there's kind of two styles, four of each um, style. And um, then you can, you know how like when you make a tag, um, like right here, they have like that extra little reinforcement. Oh, or water. Oh, I didn't think about that. Yeah, that's true, Shannon. You're right. Could be water. I didn't think about that. Um, well, these make those. I just love that. I make lots of tags, and the more I make them, the more I love making tags. So I was super excited. They are stitched, so you'll get a nice stitching on them. These are standalone, so they're not part of a bundle. You have to go to the back of the catalog to see it. Um, don't overlook them. There's a couple of standalone dies that um, you easily could overlook, but shouldn't because they're really fun. Basic Borders dies. This is another one, standalone. It's not part of a bundle. Uh, this is really fun. You could use it. You could cut. <laughs> I'm going to use this as an example. You could sort of cut the edge of your card this way, or you could cut it like this way, right? So that you have a curved edge. Um, you could layer them up, like going stagger them, sort of going. There's just so, so much you can do with this. One side cuts out a stitch and one cuts out a dot. Well, that, that's a dot. This one is one to, oh no, both of them are stitched. This one is lines. This one is a stitch and then dots and stitch and dots. This one's both stitched. So this is great. I just think so, so much. It'll just add a nice little sort of dynamic to your card, a little something, a little something, something. <laughs> a little extra little detail without having to really work hard for it. Okay, and last but not least, the last bundle I have to show you is the Pansy Patch uh, bundle. Um, I, I love the pansies, okay? But I love, love, love the sentiments. You know, I'm a sucker for a good sentiment. Um, I love this one, a little hello from me to you. I love sending just hello cards to people. You have a birthday, a thank you, I love you so much, or love you much, great for Valentine's Day, anniversaries. Um sort of like can, can coordinate with a thank you or, or whatever. This is a multi-step stamping, so you kind of build the color um, of the pansy. Really pretty. It is a photopolymer stamp set. It is two. So there's so many of them, they had to go on two separate sheets. It coordinates with the pansy dies. Ta-da! Which Again, you kind of have to cut out different pieces and then you layer them up to create the pansy. And some of them do cut out the stamped images and some of them are standalone images to create the pansy just out of cardstock. Oh, the bees coordinate with that, Karen says. Karen's got my back. I have no clue what I did with the bees. I tossed them and now I don't know. <laughs> They're on the floor somewhere, I think. Oh, wait, hold on. I'll show you my... So it coordinates with the bees. The, um, my product share ones. Thanks, Karen. You're the best. <laughs> so, and some of these images coordinate with the designer series paper, which I love when they do that. It just makes stamping and card making and paper crafting so, so much easier. Let's see here. The designer series paper is called the Pansy Petals designer series paper. Again, one side is more graphic and the other one is more, um, not graphic, <laughs> technical term. So we have this one, which has Lots and lots of different colors and varieties of pansies. This cuts out leaves and the, one of the dies in the, the coordinated dies does match this and will cut out those leaves for us, which I love. Uh, looks like fresh freesia. Oh, here, I'll tell you the colors. Blackberry, I could just read as opposed to guess. Blackberry Bliss, Bumblebee, Calypso Coral, Evening Evergreen. I'm assuming that's what that is, Evening Evergreen. Uh, fresh freesia, pale papaya, polished pink, soft sea foam, soft succulent, and white. Uh, this also will coordinate with the dies. The dies will cut out those um, petals. This is really pretty with the soft sea foam background. I really like that. And then sort of longer pansies. Then if you flip it over, hello gingham, okay? <laughs> we have a pale papaya gingham. Can you see that? There we go. Pale papaya gingham. We have this striped. I'm assuming that's um, evening evergreen and um, 
Soft succulent. Yes, soft succulent. And maybe soft sea foam in there too. Um, a dot, dotted, but not evenly spaced, like kind of random dots. Another gingham that looks like fresh freesia. How pretty is that? So pretty. Uh, soft succulent uh, gingham. And then this sort of pattern. I don't know what you would call that pattern, but beautiful paper, beautiful, beautiful paper. Okay, so that's the front, and then that's, well, that's the front, that's the back. Okay, that's it. That's all I have. Again, I didn't order every single thing I could. I got sort of the things that I wanted to play with most, <laughs> which is most of it. Um, reminder, my product share is being offered over on my blog. Again, head over there for all the details to get a sampling of all the new goodies. Catalogs will go out to ca to customers hopefully this weekend if I can get it in time by Thursday. And uh, if you are do not currently have a demonstrator you order from and would like to get a catalog, please let me know. Um, again, you can head over to Jamie B J A I M I E B dot com and uh, there's a link over there you can follow. Thank you everyone so so much for joining me today. I cannot wait for you to get this new product in your hands. Please let me know if, if you have any questions. Um, I'm here to help. Have a great day, everyone. Bye bye.